Hello, this is just a quick tutorial of how to play Age of Empires 2 on Vubli. First thing you need to do is install Age of Empires 2 The Age of Kings, which is the first in the series of the games. Just go through the setup, the startup, choose what directory you wish to install the game in. Um, you only need a typical install for this, a full install is not required as full install only includes things for the campaign, voice files etc. Just to play the game on single player or multiplayer you only need a typical install. Once that's done and the Age of Kings has finished installing, you need to install Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors which is the expansion, which is the most popularised version of the game. So just exit up this exit the setup the Age of Kings. Installing the Conquerors is the same process as installing the Age of Kings. You only need the minimum install, you decide the directory that it is in. Shouldn't take too long to install. You can decide whether to create a desktop icon or not. And once that is done, and both the games are installed, you then need to go to step 3, which is creating a Vubli account. Now to do this, you just Google Vubli, or go to www.vubli.com. Look at the top right, you'll see a little register button, click that. Once on the register page, you will have to create a display name, a password, an email address to be associated with the account and a capture to prove that you are not a bot. Once you have filled in all these categories you will see a little Vubli registration success and then once you have done that you can log into the website online to use look at the services that are offered. Once you have an account, you need to download the client so you can play Age of Empires 2 online with other people. So you go to the home page, click the big green button, go through the wizard, decide where you want to install the game. The client shouldn't take very long to install. Once that is all finished, you can start up Rubly. You will get a little messenger that will ask you for your username and password that you just created before. Use that to log in. Now, a game browser should automatically open, but if it does not, you can find it in the messenger by pressing File, Game Browser. Once in the game browser, it shows you a list of the lobbies and the number of players in each lobby that are currently online. I'd suggest going to the new player lobby if you haven't played online before, for less experienced players. You'll see a list of games that you can join or host or that are currently busy. We're going to look at hosting a game. Once a game is hosted, you can go to settings, you can change the game name, the mod that is used, the patch, uh, what rating requirement there is. And once everything is OK, press launch. When the game launches, you'll see the familiar looking multiplayer menu which you have seen from the original games. If you are playing with other human players, you will see your ping, civilization, team, color. You can choose all the various settings, adjust them how you will. Once everything is sorted out, press start game. The game will give you the little launch message saying that you can cancel if you wish to if there are any mistakes. Once the game is started, you can play Age of Empires 2. There, there is widescreen with Vubli, there are various mods available that you can download to be used with Vubli. And if all goes smoothly, that is what should happen. But sometimes you get errors or you have the wrong version of the game. Now, if you get an error starting the game, you should use game diagnostics as advised. The game diagnostics will be able to tell you what is wrong with the game. Once you have done the scan of the game diagnostics, there will be success or failure at various parts. 
if you do not understand what the diagnostics is telling you, do not worry, you can make a forum thread in the technical support section or go to the live chat help and get help from the staff here who should know what the problem is and be able to help you with it. There are also various tools like multi-monitor support or if you go on game resolution tool click span across two monitors you can lock the cursor inside the screen you can adjust the command bar position there are many things you can do to adjust in the game enjoy your gaming have fun